Gaffer, just over a year ago now, we uh, sat upstairs, looked at the challenge ahead of another year in League One um, and prepared for some pretty big challenges. I bet you never thought then you'd be uh, preparing to take your side to a playoff semi final no. in League One. Oh, incredible, you know. Um, like you say, it's probably what we're on uh, July. So, yeah, the start of June last year was, uh, you know, and, and nobody's fault, football's fault, you know, because football was, uh, was pulling away from Wickham at a rate of knots. And, I think we had seven or nine players turn up on that first day. Um, I'd had to release a lot, obviously, with what happened. And then, um, yeah, with meeting Rob Kuig that summer was uh, huge. One of the best things that's happened to this club for a long time. And uh, and I'm really pleased to say that the players we brought in, the the, the ethos we've kept, the culture we, we kept, has uh, you know culminated in uh, as being in the playoffs for the championship, which you know beyond anyone's wildest dreams. And I'm so proud of the boys they've given me absolutely everything um, and I'm hoping uh, or I'm confident I'm hoping I'm confident that we uh, we've got enough now to go up to Fleetwood uh, and go back to Adams Park on the Monday and uh, and get a good result um, there's no reason we can't um, the games were very close in the league uh, we've been beating all the top teams this season um, and uh, finishing third on points per game, I mean, it's, it's an amazing achievement for this football club. I've got boys ready to ready to run through brick walls tomorrow night and uh, and give some more on Monday to uh, to try and make the uh, the amazing thing happen. And yeah, it'd be, be fantastic if we could. How are the boys, kind of emotionally as well as physically? Because normally the playoffs are so soon after the end of the season, you come into it with momentum. This is the longest you've ever had to prepare for for two or three games in isolation because you've been at it for four weeks now. Boys have been excellent, really have, you know. Um, they've come back super fit. Um, you know, uh, I'm sure every club's had one or two little issues, but really, I've got a full squad to pick from. You know, I don't know when the last time I wa was when I could pick from the entire squad. That's 25 players, you know. Um, that is all we've got. And, and in there, there's a couple who haven't even ever played league football. So, you know, probably looking at um, the 23 who have played league football to go right. Let's pick the best 20 out of that, or, or the, the right 20, not the best 20, you know, the right 20. And um, and we'll go up to Fleetwood with uh, with every confidence that we uh, you know, we can we can bring plenty back to play for on Monday. It's going to be the strangest scenario for one of our biggest ever games with, with the tiniest ever crowd, just a handful of press and, and a couple of directors in there as well. Um, are you nervous maybe about how that's going to transcend on, on the night and whether the boys can adapt? Yeah, excitement at the moment, Matt, you know, is rather than nerves. I'm not really a nervous kind of manager. Um, I think if you are, then you're, you're worried about what you're doing during the week. You, you're uncertain. I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. Um, you know, a month ago, I remember I remember waking up and, and, and the morning of the first day back training and, and I said to Donna, I said, uh, I said, this is it now, this is the, the countdown. And she, she said, just go and enjoy it. And I think it's the greatest word she said was go and enjoy it because we've, that's what we do here. You know, we enjoy our football. We come in, we enjoy training together. We enjoy being together. Um, and that energy on the pitch is going to be really important. You know, um, we know the fans aren't going to be there. We know there's going to be different factors contributing to a whole different game. I mean, look at the championship at the moment. Um, is the form is upside down. It's it's crazy, and I think that that's got to encourage probably the smaller teams, uh, which of course we are in this league. Um, there's all sorts that's, that that could go on. We just got to make sure that we're, we're super prepared, which we are. Um, got a great staff. Um, really trusted them to to get the boys right on the ascendancy for this game. Every stone has been unturned um, in what we think could be coming at us, um, and we're we're ready to to face that head on. We know we've got a fantastic owner backing us. This club wouldn't be here without Rob Coo, without a shadow of a doubt. And it wouldn't be here without the trust before and Andrew Howard and, and going back. So I'm not discounting any of that. But to finish in the highest position, Rob's played a big, big part in that. The fans aren't going to be there. All I can say is we we, we know you are there. We know in spirit you are there. And and it's been fantastic that the way that they've firstly taken up the season tickets, even though the prices have increased, because obviously, you know, things have changed in the world and, and the club was always sort of slightly behind on that anyway um, and also that they've paid to put cardboard cutouts in the stadium not just to themselves the ones who've passed away this year who sadly can't be at the game but will be there in spirit the ex-players again some that we've lost and, and just you know people down the years have supported this fantastic club 
I want to give them something to cheer about beyond their wildest dreams. Uh, that could be this weekend. So thank you for all your support. Um, we were going to give this our right best shot. Um, and we'll see what happens. And as finally, as part of the build-up for this, we've spoken to quite a few of the heroes of the 93-94 team. Now, that was a generation that is revered as the golden generation. Um, and they've all said, Wickham Wanderers have now done something they can. That was the playoffs at this level of football. Um, whatever happens over the next few days, how proud does it make you of the journey that this club has taken with yourself? Uh, you know, to hear that from that generation, um, you know, sometimes the, the biggest compliments are from your peers. Those guys played football, managed football. Um, they were an awesome team, an awesome team. And uh, you can't compare the past to the future in football. It's impossible, you know. But um, I really appreciate the comments that some of those guys have made because uh, that generation will never be forgotten, ever, ever. And it shouldn't be because they were brilliant. FA Cup runs, getting in the league, playoff wins. Hopefully can join that group. But... Um, I want these boys as well to be remembered as fondly in years to come and say, you know what, I remember watching those. I remember watching your Akin Fenn with your Bloomfields. You remember that goal they scored. Remember this game they played in. And I think that's what football's about and that's what we want to achieve and, and give these fans some history for this club. Um, and we're on the cusp of something magnificent. I don't want to let this go lightly.